you guys i'm annoyed right now well like kind of but i'm trying to oh i'm sorry if the phone's a little shaky but i have you on top of my bed well on a tripod on top of my bed so if it's a little shaky i'm sorry but anyways um so oh my god i don't think this is gonna work it's gonna keep on shaking okay let me just start this video so i have such an annoying ass stalker and i wish i could say that this is the first one but it's not <laughs> it's the recent one one of the many recent one <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah it's really oh my god let me let me just fix this little situation because it's bothering me okay i hope that's much better i was just so yeah i'm eating apples by the way i was never an apple person but i don't know i kind of crave them now anyways yeah you guys i have a damn stalker and this person i go way back with him like i've never been with them but that person has had a thing for me or i don't know if he, but it's like he's already obsessed like it's an obsession already it's not even just a like um so i'm gonna take you back a little bit so maybe you guys could understand so this person i know him from a long time ago i was never with him um I went out with him maybe two times or three, but um, those three times that I went with, I, those three times that I went out with him, they were um, they were the dates were far apart. They were like years apart from each other. This guy would always invite me out and everything, and I was never feeling him. I never felt him like that. Like I never felt attracted to him. Like he doesn't he doesn't get my attention like that i mean he's handsome but he doesn't get my attention like that so back then um i didn't really know how to say no like i didn't really know how to tell him that i wasn't interested in him so i would just every time he would invite me out like i would always have excuses why i couldn't go which is my fault because i know i should have been straight up from like the start which i totally own up to it but um, this last time that he invited me, that I went out with him, um, I believe it was within that week. He kept on texting me because he wanted to see me again. And that's when I told him, like, um, I don't remember the exact words, but I just remember telling him. I still, I believe I still have the text messages. I'm not really sure. But um, pretty much I ended up, ended up telling him that although i knew he was a nice guy and and so on like i wasn't interested in him you know that i couldn't offer him anything more than just a friendship and he was totally fine with it he made it seem like i was a crazy person that thought he wanted me that he made it seem like all he wanted was just to be friends and that's it he didn't want more than that and i was like okay perfect you know in my mind i'm thinking damn kimberly you're tripping for for nothing because he didn't even like you like that or so he made it seem and <laughs> um i believe months went by so after that no after that he still kept on inviting me out as friends okay but i wasn't feeling it like i knew like i shouldn't go like you know when that gut feeling tells you not to do something that's the gut feeling that i had and at first i didn't understand why but now it all makes perfect sense and i'm gonna tell you why so um so like i said he's, he still kept inviting me out as friends according to him but i i didn't something told me to not to not listen to what he was saying and just ignoring him which I didn't completely ignore him, like I would still text him back, but like I said, I always had an excuse why I couldn't go. So, um, time went by, like out of nowhere. So this person would send things to my house out of nowhere, like sometimes he would send flowers or like other gifts. And 
I was like during this time that he would send things to my house I wasn't talking to him like I was not talking to him so it was kind of weird but I felt obligated or it's just managed you know to say hey thank you you know for for what he has sent because at the end of the day he took his time to you know um not only did he spend money but to send me something as well which he didn't have to but you know the thought of his the thought of people sending you things or doing things for you without you asking or not even asking but just things that they want to do because how do you say this porque les nace you know because they want to do it for you not because you're asking which like i said i told them thank you and all of this and he would still keep on inviting me out but like i said i had an excuse for everything okay here gets the better part here is where it starts to get juicy like juicy juicy you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna skip that part so i'm gonna tell you what's going on currently well not currently but it's been maybe a whole like two weeks that he's been texting me and He's pretty much just talking to himself in my text messages because I do not respond. I pretty much ghost him. Which I know people say that that's not right, but at the end of the day, I don't owe you anything. And I know people are gonna say like, common courtesy and this and that, but he's been like, he's such, in my opinion, I'm starting to see this narcissist person. This person I didn't think he was, or at least that he showed. But then again, it's understandable because each, I mean, every guy that has approached me or tried to approach me or tried to get to know me, obviously, they're always going to be the nicest. They're always going to treat me like, they're always going to treat me the best, obviously, you know, they're always going to um, smooth talk to me. They're always going to, you know, just pretty much be on their best behavior, which I totally understand. I get, I know. But he's been talking to himself and he's been pretty much telling me how, you know, he really likes me and that he's always thinking about me and that he's just like, me sendo sendo el oído, you know, that's all he's doing. He's just telling me all this nice stuff. And since I've been ghosting him, like little by little, it, I thought I heard something, I'm sorry um little by little he's been shedding that nice person that he's been like i know he's mad because you could tell in the text messages he's been inviting me out he wants to fly me like he wants to fly me out he wants to do, he wants to take trips but he doesn't like ask me out on dates anymore he asks me on like mini vacations like weekend vacations i guess or weekend getaways and in my mind i'm thinking like like no like if i don't even go on you on dates which is just a couple of hours what makes you think i'm gonna spend a whole weekend with you no like what's wrong with you like no i'm not gonna do that so he's been trying to like prep he's been pretty much just he's been trying to like i don't know if to say buy me off or i don't know what's the proper word to use but he's trying to bribe me with um with trips he's trying to bribe me with shopping sprees he's trying to bribe me with giving me money and like um taking care of me financially and in all different ways you know he's just trying to bribe me and it's like it's kind of triggering that he even texts me because i am not responding like he's just talking to himself like i said for me it's like i want no contact with you obviously if i'm ghosting you i'm making it clear and i know i could tell him and i could tell him that um don't text me but i don't feel like giving him that luxury you know and i know it's ego i know i'm being i know i'm ego driven right now and i know it's not good the ego is never good well you know what the ego is not always good sometimes it's a good thing in my opinion but it's not always a good thing, but this guy is so annoying. Like, if someone is ignoring you, why do you keep on texting them? I don't get it. Like, I already made it clear that I do not like you like that. Like, at one point I was willing to offer you my friendship, but you know, after I 
kind of saw who you really were, then hell no, I ain't gonna offer you shit. I blocked him from my from my phone and from all my social medias. And I mean, obviously he's gonna find a way to find me. I'm not. <coughs> I mean, I know he's gonna end up finding me again, or he's gonna create a fake profile. But that's sad, you know. It's sad that that you gotta go through all that just to try to talk to me or just so you could get some type of response from me like like fuck love yourself a little bit so if whoever com came across this um video if you're going through this situation and you're like the actual guy that's obsessed with the female or you could um or it could be vice versa like sometimes the female is obsessed with the guy and yeah, if something you, if someone is ghosting you, then just fall off. Like, like you just need to. You can't keep. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, why do you keep on? Why would you keep on doing this to yourself? I understand that maybe. <coughs> you know, sometimes when I guess when you really like someone. When you really like someone, it can make you do crazy things, which I understand. Like, I was, and I understand the obsessive part too, because I'm not gonna lie, at some point in my life, like, I was, obs you know, maybe even obsessed with the guys that I used to be with before, just because they were constantly, they were constantly on my mind. But, I mean, I could not text someone or call someone a thousand times a hundred times if somebody does not respond a message by pride i will not text you back unless it's an emergency if i call you once or even if i text you like i don't care obviously you're on your phone and you obviously see that i reached out to you you know if you choose not to um respond and that's on you i'm pretty sure they get it like they just i don't understand how people could like have your have combos by yourself and somebody else's phone like i don't get it why would you just why would you keep on reaching out to that person if you don't get a response well at least in this situation i didn't know him shit because he was nothing to me like he wasn't my boyfriend or nothing i never did i give and i he knew like I personally never gave him that um, hope that he had something more with me. Like I told him from the start, it's just friendship and that's it. So I made it clear to him, you know, if he had a different idea of it or if he thought he could convince me by bribing me, then that's different. That's on, that's on him, you know, because I made it clear. So I'm good. So hopefully he pretty much told me me dijo de lo que me iba a morir. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but he <laughs> he pretty much started his last his last text messages were like I don't know if he tried to insult me or something, but it's funny how first you were all loving and you were gonna do all of this for me and you're gonna take care of me and so on, and now that you see that days have went by and that I'm not responding. Now you want to um, be insulting towards me. Now you want to throw your two cents of my life, of what I'm doing or what I don't do, first of all. I don't, I, I just like when people throw their two cents about what I should do or shouldn't do because I mind my business and that's something many people should do. Like, I'm not the person that throws my two cents in other people's lives like if you were to ask what my opinion is then fine i'll tell you but other than that it's like who am i to tell you what to do what you're doing wrong and so on like i'm nobody you know i don't know i just find what he was saying like kind of like manipulating and i've been really trying to hold my composure like i'm trying not to snap because i'm someone that if somebody tells me something i don't like like i'll snap and I have not done that. I've been so tempted to like respond when he was like telling me some negative things, but psychologically, some I feel that some people people would tell you will text you or tell you negative things just because they know that you're gonna respond because if they tell you nice things, it's like comments too in social media. Like 
you could get all these co nice comments but once somebody comments something negative it's like you want to go off on them and i'm just learning not to do that and in a way i'm thankful for these situations just because it allows me to grow as a person and to change my ways and to yeah to just grow through it my hair is all crazy but it's already nighttime so it's okay but pretty much it allows me to grow from each experience because it's so easy for people to think about how they would react in certain situations but you just never know how you're gonna react until you you're feeling that type of way you're feeling those emotions until then until then it's when you'll really know what you would do because it's so easy to talk when you're not feeling mad or when you're not feeling triggered or whatever the case may be but i'm so happy like i'm so happy managed to control myself because it's something that i've been working so hard and i continue to work on because it's so easy for me to get triggered and and you didn't get what you wanted which was a damn response so i'm probably missing out a certain um i hope i mentioned everything that i wanted to talk about there's a couple things that are left out on this video just because I don't want to I'm not just because I want to keep it to myself like I don't want to give you guys all the dirty details I'm just kidding I there's things that I just want to keep but that's pretty much what has been going on with this person the stalker I don't know what to call him I have a feeling it's just a matter of time for him to reach out to me again so i'm just gonna stay focused centered peaceful and that's all i can do so there's a couple things that i really go into detail that much but you know i just want to keep it to myself for privacy reasons i know that maybe there's going to be someone thinking that if you wanted to keep it private why did you even mention it but it's something that I, I guess I'm here eating apples, listening to music, and I don't know. I just wanted to share that experience with you guys. Um, so yeah, so comment down below if you've had a similar experience as mine, or if you've been in the shoes of, in this case, the other guy that you feel so obsessed with someone that you feel that I'm just so happy that this person no longer knows where I live. So yeah <laughs> that's definitely a plus because this guy is crazy i mean i don't know what he's capable of doing and a person that's feeling some type of way is very scary just because you never know how that person would react we live in some crazy times and god forbid put that in the universe because we don't want that so with that said thank you guys so much for watching